Dear Mom, this letter is for you, my mother, and for all the other mothers. Mother, you gave me life, but you gave me so much more. Your youth, your beauty, sleepless nights. I gave you headaches, even some frights. You nursed my fever, tucked me in, and prayed to keep me safe from sin. You were the earth in which I grew, the castle which protected, the only place I knew I'd always be loved and accepted. You were the boundaries in a haphazard life, my comfort in a time of strife, and you knew me before I was born. We bonded in your womb, yet many times, only God knows why, the womb becomes a tomb. Mother, between my brother and I, there was another baby, unnamed but not forgotten. Clang, you heard them drop it in a pan, a fetus life had forsaken. To them, not a woman or a man, just nothing really. But to you, it was your baby then still born, not forgotten. It's sex or reason for the miscarriage, undetermined, they took my sibling away. You just cried and held your heart and prayed for better days. They said, it didn't matter. It wasn't really real. You said you were so grateful, at least you had me still. Still, you had hope, hope for another. And so after time, along came my brother and then along came my sister. Not all are quite so lucky, but God bless you and you blessed us. Thank you for all you've done. There is a reason so much of the word mother is taken up with the word other. It's a job not really defined. You're a teacher, a nurse, still a lover. You leave your cares and your needs behind. Often we take you for granted. Sometimes you're misunderstood. Yet we all need mothers, even those who have none. And celebrate you, we should. No one taught you a mother to be. There was no textbook or degree. You said, bring it on, and on life brought it. I know you've never looked back. It came naturally for you to love me. Even when I was sly, when I didn't respect you and made you cry or poked my sibling in the eye, you never gave up on me. On your knees, without fail, you prayed for me, praying, Praying, praying for me to look more like Jesus, praying for my life and careers, praying that I could have more than you had, praying for my happiness, my siblings, my dad, and still you pray for me. The hardest thing I think for a mother is to let her children grow. She does her best and gives her all, and then they leave and go. Yet she watches them as they make their way with a mixture of pride and fear. She smiles as they walk the aisle, their husband or bride held near. Your job is done but never finished as grandkids soon appear. And still, she has love for everyone as they grow year by year. Today, we celebrate mothers. But let's remember and honour some others, those who lost their mothers already or those who never knew them, those who've given their lives in service to kids who weren't theirs to wean, to the mourning, and the marginalized and those who fall in between, to all the other mothers, the ones that we call auntie. If you don't or can't have kids, though we don't know the reason, you're still a mother to all of us through many a difficult season. You 
are so close to our God's heart, held in a special way. We praise and thank our God for you each and every day. To all our beautiful mothers, our aunties and the rest, we, your children, rise up and call you blessed. Like Proverbs 31, I hope I've been as good a son as you've been a mother to me. Love from all of us.